Welcome back to the channel. I actually didn't really know how to start this vlog, so I kind of want to keep it casual today. Um, not only is it my first week back um, since I got back from vacation a week and a half ago, but it's also my very first week with my new team. So for those who probably are new here or missed my last work week vlog, um, I joined a new team here at Amazon. So this is my very first week onboarding and it was quite a unique week because we had a lot of Q1 team events such as all hands town hall meetings and a lot of team bonding events in general I actually have two co-workers who are based in New York now and they flew over to Seattle for a lot of team bonding events um, so I got to meet everyone in person for my first week here which is quite good timing on my part throughout the day I kind of just want to talk about how my onboarding process has been and how I'm approaching onboarding with this new team and I hope it helps any of you guys who are also joining a completely new team or might be starting a new job as well um, let me know if you guys are i think that'd be interesting and we could get through this onboarding phase together um, it's definitely going to be a work in progress for me because it's only week one um, so i'll kind of provide whatever insight that i have so far it's been a while since i onboarded with the new team so I'm kind of just starting from scratch as well. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna jump on to my next call and catch up with you guys a bit later. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good. Alright, so I just got off my one-on-one -on -one with my new manager and it was super helpful. She was able to give me more context on how the team is structured and all the new initiatives that we have for 2024. She was also able to give me an idea of which area in terms of the team services um, that I'll be working on. And so she gave me some advice to just focus my onboarding process on that side since that's where she's planning for me to work on. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna go find lunch first and then um, continue my onboarding. I was just having lunch and two subscribers just came to say hi. Hey. This is Jenny and Lynn. Like and surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Turn your back. I thought, oh my god, it's not changing. <laughs> I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Progress Open Edge. Open Edge is a trusted application development platform that allows developers to build business apps with deployment across any platform, device type, and cloud. Open Edge is powered by its own programming language and it's known for developer productivity with its English-like syntax and supercharged statements that do the work of many lines of code in languages like Java. And because of the high demand for Open Edge developers across the globe, Open Edge is currently offering a free certification course. The Open Edge Developer Learning Path includes self-paced training courses that will help you grow your Open Edge developer skills. You can even practice course concepts through hands-on exercises with step-by-step -step guidance. So if any of you guys are interested in learning a new development skill, get started on your Open Edge journey today and join a community of thousands of developers making a difference in business application development.
right, so I've just been watching a lot of onboarding videos and when I say onboarding videos, I mean recorded meetings. Thankfully, my team has a lot of recorded meetings of the entire architecture of their tech stack and their services um, already recorded and available for new hires like me. I think like the first week, my main priority was to just understand the entire um, context of why this product exists and what it does and how it impacts our customers um, i think it's really important to have that foundational knowledge so you get the underlying context beneath everything of why that service was built and week two which is going to be starting monday i'm planning on syncing up with um, some of my teammates one-on-one -on -one to understand the exact work stream that they're owning and how it contributes to the overall um, service and the product itself. Also just to kind of get an understanding of what everyone is working on, I have six other teammates so it's going to be a lot of information to digest within such a short amount of time but I think what's been helping me is I have a document where I'm kind of like listing out um, all of the main concepts, acronyms, and um, things that I shouldn't forget just to keep there as a reminder. So, um, so far those have been helping me a lot, at least for week one. It's been a while since I joined a new team like this, so I just feel like I know nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much how things are going right now. Thankfully though, all of my teammates are incredibly nice and so supportive. I would say my onboarding week has been very great so far. Okay, so to be completely transparent with you all, I'm not really retaining any of the information that I'm currently reading or watching at the moment. I'm definitely gonna have to review everything early next week, um, once more or maybe twice more even. I'm also one of those type of people where I learn better by actually doing something instead of reading about it. Like I actually need to be building something or doing something like discussing it to better understand. Anyway, since it's a Friday, I'm just gonna call it a day. The weather here in Seattle is really beautiful. I don't know if you guys could tell. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up what I was reading and head home to Howell. got back home did a quick outfit change to check on howl and then the weather's been really nice today so i'm just gonna go enjoy some outdoors Jen? Jen? Yeah. Shy now. You're shy. This is really good actually. Alright guys, it's been a few days and I'm just hopping on to end this vlog. Just like how I didn't know how to start this vlog, I also wasn't sure how to end this vlog. So if you've made it to the end, please comment down a cat emoji just so I know who you guys are. Um, but anyway, now that I'm here, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys real quick um, about some life changes. And as you could see, I feel like I've really entered a new chapter in my life, um, whether you could see it or not through my videos, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, there's a lot of pivotal moments in your life where you'll feel like a chapter has ended and a new one has completely began and I'm currently in that stage in my life. Like 
the month of March alone, a lot of happy and amazing pivotal moments happened in my life. Not only did I transfer to a new team um, at my current company, but I also got to travel with my cousin and my sister for the first time um, ever, like as an adult. And I also started a new relationship that's flourishing and it just makes me very happy to be with this person. And yeah, like on top of all of those things, there's just a lot of other things that's been truly aligning with my life right now. Oh, and we also hit 50k on YouTube, so I'm really thankful for everyone here and truly you guys are so amazing. Every supportive comment I read, it really makes me happy and just inspires me more to continue what I'm doing. Um, so that said, please let me know what type of video content you guys would like to see more of, whether it's software engineering career related or if it's productivity or even personal life advice like let me know what type of topic you'd like to see more of um i do want to provide kind of like a desk tour but once i kind of figure out this space right now it's kind of a mess and i use it as storage um but yeah i guess I could blab on but I'm just gonna stop it here. Um, truly thank you guys for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!